Good afternoon class. I hope you're having a great day. I would like to complete another orbital mechanics practice problem with you today. So I'm going to read the problem, underline some important information. We're going to generate a column of knowns and unknowns, and then I'm going to work the problem with you. So let's go ahead and get started. NOAA 17. So this stands for National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Satellite 17 is a weather forecast forecasting satellite that is equipped with a high-resolution infrared radiation instrument. The weather satellite is a sun-synchronous orbit. So remember from our notes, this is a type of polar orbit with an orbital time period of 101.07 minutes. The orbit characteristics include a semi-major axis of 7,187,630 meters and a semi-minor axis of 7,187,625 meters. Calculate the eccentricity of NOAA 17's orbit. Okay, so it looks like they give it they gave us some information that we really didn't need. So we're going to calculate the eccentricity based off of the semi-major and semi-minor axis. We really don't need the orbital time period, okay? So, um, what let's do first is let's just draw an ellipse. And for this problem, this is, the ratio is not to scale here, okay? But from the center of the ellipse, right here, this is my semi-major axis. Okay, and it is identified by lowercase a. From the center of my ellipse to this point here, this is my semi-minor axis. And it is identified by lowercase b. Okay, now the orbit characteristics for the semi-major and semi-minor axis are given to us. So the semi-major axis identified by A is 7,187,630 meters. My semi-minor dimension is going to be 7,187,625 meters. Okay, and we're going to calculate the eccentricity of the ellipse. Now, the eccentricity for an ellipse can be between zero and it can include zero. Now, zero is going to be a circle, so uh, it's going to have a constant radius, just a perfect circle. So it would be 0.0, .0 for the eccentricity up to one, but not including one because. Uh, one is a straight line. So for an ellipse, now not other conic sections like a parabola, for example, but for an ellipse, this is true, okay? Now our equation is going to be the square root of one minus the semi-minor axis squared divided by the semi-major axis squared. Okay, so we know both of these dimensions. Let's just go ahead and plug in our values here. So I'll start back over here. One minus, so in my numerator right here, I have 7,187,625 meters. We're going to square this value. In my denominator, 7,187,630 meters. And we're going to square that. Okay, so what I want to do is resolve the numerator and the denominator. So right here, we're going to square our numerical value. And remember, we're also going to be squaring our unit value. So let's go ahead and take out your calculator. Let's calculate this together. So I had the square root of one minus in my numerator. Five point one six six one nine five times ten to the thirteenth meters squared. Remember, not only are we squaring the numerical value, we have to square the unit value. In my denominator,
Okay, all right. So what let's do is let's go, go ahead and divide this right here. Oh, and I accidentally hit clear on my calculator, okay. All right, so 5.1, 5 and this is to the 13th, sorry. Okay, all right, this gives me one minus zero point nine 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 eight. And right now we don't have any units here because we have meters squared in the numerator and meters squared in the denominator. Okay, so let's do one minus this value. And we are required to take the square root of the answer. Okay? And so the eccentricity of the orbit for NOAA 17 is equal to 0 0.001244. Okay? So we have a very round orbit. Remember, eccentricity describes the roundness of an orbit, so the smaller the value, the more round the orbit is. The greater the value up to a value of 1, but not including 1, the, the more squished or the flatter the orbit. So this is a very round orbit, okay? So there is our final answer. And if you have any questions on this problem, please send me an email. Or if you have any questions about the orbital mechanics assignment, send me an email. I will be more than happy to help you. I hope you have a great day.